Hi everyone, um, hope that you're doing okay, staying indoors at the moment. Um, we've got a new craft activity today for our jungle theme of sessions. Um, and all we're going to need today is some brown paint, uh, some colouring pencils or crayons, and our own hands. So uh, make sure you've got all those things and a piece of paper. And the first thing we're going to do is do a hand print with our brown paint. I've already done mine because I needed it to dry. So make sure it's right in the middle of your piece of paper, nice and central. Doesn't matter which hand you use, um, but make sure you obviously you wash your hands after. And then we just need to leave it to dry a little bit so it's not really wet. And then you can come back to it. And we're going to transform this handprint into a jungle animal. So what we're going to do is make this into a sloth. So this bit that was my thumb. We're going to do a head, draw a head on the top of that, and then these are going to be the legs, the fingers, and it's like he's hanging upside down on a branch. So first we'll do his head, so get your paint again, and we're just going to draw with our paint a head on the top. The slots have quite a long neck, so should look okay. Uh, if you ever look at a picture of a sloth, their heads are not like our heads are sort of longer that way. Their heads are longer that way. So we want to go for that sort of shape. Now you might feel like you want to even him out a little bit. You can adjust the neck if you want to. Make it look a bit more, a bit more even. And when you did your handprint, if there were any bits that you couldn't quite get the paint to go on properly, just fill those in with your paintbrush. So there we've got our sloth's head and when that's dry we're going to do a face on him but for now what we want to do is draw the branch that he's hanging from. So we're just going to draw here so it needs to go through all these fingers so it looks like his feet are hanging off. So I've just got a brown colouring pencil and I'm just going to quickly draw the branch that he's hanging on to show you what I mean. And sloths are very funny creatures if you've not heard of them before. Have a look, get your uh, mum or dad or whoever's at home with you to uh, show you a picture of one on the internet. Now they sleep a lot and they sleep hanging upside down from branches, which is pretty cool. And that's why we're drawing him hanging upside down. So I've drawn the branch there he's hanging from starting to look more like a sloth I'm just going to do a few leaves on my branch to show that it's a tree and once you've done the basic things that we need which are our sloth and our branch you could decorate the rest of your picture however you want you could do some more trees in the background you could do some grass underneath him maybe he's by a little bit of river Whatever you want to do. I'm just going to do a few more leaves so it's clear what's going on in our picture. And you can also draw, oops, got a bit of paint on me, um, some uh, claws onto the ends of the, the sloth's feet. So there's some leaves on our, on our branch. I'm going to do a few claws now. actually sure how many claws they have on each of their feet maybe that's something you could find out like that now I need to wait for my face of my sloth to dry but when it has dried you could just do some eyes little nose and um, they have quite fun eyebrows so you could do that as well I'll do mine for next time and then I can show you what mine looks like maybe you can upload a picture to the Facebook of what your sloth picture looks like um, so that's our craft for today. Now my challenge for you, if you enjoyed doing that, are there any other animals you could make out of a handprint? So only using your hands and some paint can you make the body of any other animals. See what you come up with. Um, now we must remember to do our word activity. So you can see the word last time was monkey. Did you get that right? Did you spell it right? Did you guess it? Um, and the next one we've got here starts with a T. So can you guess what this animal is? There's two letters missing 
See if you can work out what they are, or if you can work out what the animal is by what letter it starts with, and maybe get a grown-up to help you to write in the other letters if you're not sure. That is all for today. Um, do remember to subscribe for our next jungle video and share this with your friends and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.